हेलो एक्वेरियम गाइस व्हाट्स अप वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द एक्वा प्लानिट आई होप दैट एवरीथिंग इज फाइन एंड गाइस टुडे आई हैव गॉट दिस पार्सल एंड आई एम गोना अनबॉक्स दिस एंड आई एम गोना शो यू दैट व्हाट इज इनसाइड दिस पार्सल दिस इज समथिंग वेरी एक्साइटिंग फॉर मी सो आई एम गोना शो यू इन दिस वीडियो सो गाइस स्टेट यून विद मी एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो so guys i am gonna cut this off from the scissor and i am gonna open this side uh this is little bit hard and i am gonna open it up as you can see and uh, something is written in the chinese language as you can see i show you that uh it is g5 by 8 as you can see it is marked by the black marker so let's open it up completely i am going to cut from the right side to open uh it will take little bit time but i am going to open it up Uh, that's wow guys this is what i was waiting for a very long time uh, this is basically co2 regulator and i am going to use it into my planted aquarium as you can see this is a thread size g5 by 8 Okay guys now we open it up and see what is inside this uh this is the thermopole packing or foam packing for preventing the damage wow this is a co2 regulator with solenoid valve as you can see and it is of the mufan company see it it is the chinese company and it has two gauges and this is the electric cable for the power and this is a bubble counter tube as you can see and i am going to open it up and show you uh in this bubble counter tube you have to put some liquid glycerin or water or or some oil and then you have to attach the tube and from this side you need to attach the valve uh, i'm going to open and there is a spring inside i'm going to close it up it is quite of very good quality and now we take out the regulator from the box i am going to take it out uh, it is very beautiful right now as you can see that it has a very good quality as well it has two gauges and the pressure is mentioned on both of the gauges as you can see and this is the valve for controlling the amount of co2 needle valve this is basically the needle valve and this is the solenoid valve and this is the fitting for attaching the cylinder to this regulator and this is the solenoid and it is mentioned 220 volt 4.8 amp and 25 milliampers it is for controlling the flow of co2 when the valve is on then the co2 flows and 
when the solenoid valve is closed then the flow of co2 is stopped guys overall it is of very good quality and it has a very good for finishing as well so i am going to use it into my aquarium and this is the power cable and it has very good quality as well and it has a quite good long cable so as you can see from the bottom and there is a seal for for tightening up the and this is the needle valve and here you have to attach the bubble counter tube as you can see there is a thread and i am going to tighten it and it looks like this after fitting the bubble counter tube and this is a box and nothing with the box no literature no instructions this is empty and i have got a little screw inside and i think it is missing from the back side of this gauge so i am going to fix this screw and i think it is compulsory for it i am going to tighten this screw now i think it's complete so guys it was the overall view of the co2 regulator in my next video i am going to show you that how to install this and i am going to show the result of this co2 valve into my next video so guys stay tuned with me and wait for my next video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet i request that please subscribe my channel and watch the videos okay guys thank you so much for watching the video take care bye bye